So this is, we, we've had all our talks, and um, what should happen now is you go around, you know, if, if you want to go and find out about Jason, maybe you've got the missing parts from that robot, that, or he's got some. <laughs> if you want to talk to Simon about what he was doing, talk to Jack and James about Scratch and find out where you can get your nunchucks for six pounds. Do that in the next few minutes. A couple of things I want to be thinking about just before, and just to come back before we finish, which is the future. We've, at the moment, we've had three now, tonight. We've had three Raspberry Jams where we've had people talk and then people go around and ask questions. But I'm really starting to feel like we need to be doing things. We need to be coming here and going away and thinking, oh, we've, I've moved on a, a little way, not just sitting and listening to somebody talk. And Kevin's come up with a proposal, which, which we'll, we'll probably implement in our next one, which is a, a sort of a, do you want to say a little bit about it? Sure, yeah. sure. Um, some of you will have seen the uh, beginnings of this already. Um, people already know what these are because they keep seeing them. It's a Raspberry Jam event and these things keep showing up. Hardly know. Hardly yeah. knows. Um, but um, one thing I've been working on is how to make uh, the cheapest possible Arduino. So that's pretty well the cheapest possible Arduino. That's three pounds. So. Um, as opposed to buying one for £20 plus. Exactly. Um, so that's something that you can make uh, in about, I can make in about 30 seconds on a breadboard. Um, and then, and then, and then it, it, um, that's the exact same design on a breadboard. You can go on to a uh, strip board like this for £3. Um, so what I'll be aiming to do is to build them with people and teach them how to program it. So it's um, something we're talking about for a future jam that we could build something in half an hour, program it, and, and, and then see you know, what, what, what comes from exactly. that. From a Raspberry Pi, of course. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's something possibly for the future. One of the problems we're having with is we need one of these things. For every, so if we're going to have 30 people, as we have tonight, and those 30 people are all going to do something, well, maybe we pair them up. We need 15 of these. And these are not that easy to come by. I mean, the Raspberry Pi are not so easy to come by, but they, they're getting easier. So it's one of the problems we're having about making it hands-on. Um, Chris is also, I've been having some discussions, some talk about Chris, whether we, that could forge a way into setting up a hack space. Manchester have just expanded and upgraded their hack space, and a new hack space has been born in Penzance just a, just a couple of months ago. And the other thing I'm, I'm keen to do is to get more Jacks and James coming to these kind of events so it's not just 40 year old guys like me talking to you about what you can do. I want to get more children involved. So we're talking about having a future jam at a school and Tim and Vicky were saying last time that that might happen. So if we have about 15, 20 minutes or so to go around and talk, but discuss with other people. Is, is this format becoming stale or does it still have a future the way we do it with the talks? Do we need to have more hands on? But go and talk now. 15, 20 minutes. Thanks for that.